Hello and welcome to another episode of Debriefing. I'm your host, Lucky Fox Zero, and with me is Nogri Knights. Hello. And Radiant Arkwolf. Hola, briefcakes. And on today's episode, we'll be playing through Sparnoth's episode 6, chapter 2. And today's topic of discussion is the UNSC weapon set of Halo 4. And to get uh, the discussion started, how about we talk about the assault rifle, Nogri? Okay, so the assault rifle, pretty much been in most of the Halo games. They dropped out for a little bit. I think uh, the Halo 4 one, probably one of the second best of the series. It's, you know, got decent range, fairly accurate if you uh, use it right. Fairly powerful. Um, and, you know, overall, it's, it's genuinely satisfying to use. Um, in addition to that, you know, they've also added in the Halo 1 assault rifle in the guise of a saw. You know, it shoots a little bit faster, but, you know, basically the same idea, because the Halo 1 assault rifle was basically an LSW. Um, so they've got, the, they've got a good mix there uh, of weaponry, uh, as far as your automatic weapons there. And in addition to that, they've also added in the, uh, or well, they've changed up the mounted turrets to where they are a l more, much more accurate. Fire about the same, uh, but they're less powerful and they overheat, which is great from a balancing issue and from a just a realism issue. As you know, if you have a heavy machine gun, you typically have to change out the barrel after a little while or find some way to cool it down, either with. Uh, Air or water. Yeah, uh, I think that's an interesting uh, gameplay mechanic to not only for realism but also to kind of counter the arc of the Covenant weapons since they always have run on batteries or heat, etc. Uh, but as far as the assault rifle, I think that this is probably the best that I've seen in a while. Uh, it is terrible in 3, and it wasn't much better in Reach. So I was happy to see that in 4, they finally got it right. Uh, whereas previously, I felt like, well, I'm throwing rocks at these guys. Hmm, I'd love to shoot bullets. Uh, whereas in 4, it's like, finally, I get to kill somebody with this weapon. It's not just taking up space. Uh, so I was, I'm happy with Halo 4 in that regard. The saw is fun, but I'm with you there as a throwback to Halo 1, and... Who doesn't like that boy? Uh, so yeah, that's legit. Now, I think the Halo 4 assault rifle is the best assault rifle, and I feel like it is actually an assault rifle. It is a balanced automatic weapon that is pretty good in most scenarios. Um, it's not my favorite automatic weapon though. That definitely has to go to the ODST SMG and pretty much just the SMG in general. Um, but I really like the Halo 4 assault rifle. It's good. It's a great choice. Um, and I, I like the direction they've gone with the automatic weapons by making them more accurate. Uh, so I can put more rounds on target and kill things faster. So that's, that's great. Um, going, uh, onto the other spawn weapons, the DMR and the BR. Your thoughts, uh, Radiant? Um... DMR is a, a marked improvement over reach, in my opinion. Uh, it seems to hit a little bit harder, it seems more accurate. Uh, I like it. It's in one of my loadouts, I use it on the regular. It's cool. uh, the battle rifle, on the other hand, I could definitely throw that boy away. Uh, I think it's a throwback to Halo 2, which is cool. I think for diversity's sake, it's like, alright, that's a thing. Another tool in the chest, but. For me, I don't. I rarely pick it up unless you make me do it. I see the uh, impetus for SWAT because every bullet can get you a headshot. So if you straight real quick over a guy that's going around a corner, you can just like knock him out. Uh, but eh, not terribly impressed. I, I do like that they reintroduced it just because it is a very adaptable weapon. Uh, it kind of gives you that uh, ability to. to Go out to long range, uh, but also be very useful at close range as well. Um, sim similar to how the pistol is set up, actually, but to a, to a greater extent. 
I like that they brought the BR back, and uh, I definitely see that with its uh, burst fire and its ability to uh, headshot with each bullet, it's far more forgiving in the short range. Um, and, and you know, it gives you some good Halo Halo 2 vibes. And But I honestly prefer the DMR. I, I like it uh, for its strength per shot and its stronger scope, and I like the feel of it better. Um, but I, I think it really comes down to flavor, which you prefer. I think each one is a legitimate choice and has minor perks over the other one. Uh, but overall, I feel like you really can't go wrong. Now, the Magnum, I feel like the Magnum in Halo uh, 4 is probably the best iteration of the Magnum in the entire franchise. It's not the most powerful, but I feel like it is the most balanced. Uh, you definitely have limited ammo capacity, but I feel like each shot is more controllable than it was in Halo Reach, and yet it's the same power. So I find it far more useful, and I really, really love the feel of the Halo 4 Magnum. Although, of course, I love the ODST Magnum, because it was silenced and fun. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think that the Halo 4 Magnum is arguably the most balanced, but, uh, you know, when you fall in love the first time, you fall hard, and, you know, I still love the Halo 1, because it was rifle and, you know, I mean, it just all killed the... One. So, it, it covered a lot of bases within the weapon set, where, uh, now... In Halo 4, you have other weapons that, that do the job. That, that again, promotes the uh, progressionist kind of motif of the Halo 4 weapons, the UNSC weapons. Now, the sniper rifle um, in Halo 4 is a bit quirky. I haven't really figured out what's weird about it, but it just kind of feels weird. Um, I obviously have noticed that the refire rate is slower and the recoil is greater so getting successive shots with the halo 4 sniper rifle is more difficult now i'm not saying that's a bad thing i think that comes down to balancing and i really don't have an issue with that my issue with the sniper rifle is that they took away some of the bullets that i could carry so i can't carry as many and yet it still takes me successive shots to kill elites so i just wish it did more damage since it now has more recoil and fire slower I also wish it did more damage to vehicles and other things. Now, I'm not saying it needs to be the new Spanker. I just wish it did a little bit more damage considering how few bullets I really get with the thing. I like it. Its, it's hit registry is much better than it was in Halo 3, which was god-awful. And the new look is okay. I like the gun. It's good. I just really wish it did more damage. Not in multiplayer. You know, the one headshot, the two in the chest is perfectly fine. Just in campaign and against vehicles. Yeah, I, mean, I have to echo the kind of wonkiness of the uh, sniper rifle. There's something off about it. I don't know if it's the bullet drop or the bullet time. There's something off that I, I, I just can't get a hold of. Uh, maybe it's just me, but uh, yeah, I just, there's something about it. I honestly have not played with it enough to uh, get a good feel for it. So, um... I really have nothing useful to contribute to that. Now that we're talking about uh, heavy weapons, uh, what about the railgun? Railgun is easily my favorite addition to the uh, UNSC. That uh, having it is great as far as uh, one-shot kills. Uh, you know, if you read the bio, you know that. Those are my friends. Uh, I think that canon-wise, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, if I get an ordinance, I'm always going to pick it. It's just a good weapon to have. I wish that I did some more damage to vehicles. I wish it was stronger in that regard, but as far as personnel, uh, it's, it's spot on. I, I feel like it should replace a Spartan laser rather than being, you know, accompanied by it. Uh, I think just uh, from a canonical view, it makes a lot more sense 
than the uh, Spartan laser does. Um, and honestly, I just I prefer it over the Spartan laser. I don't like the Spartan laser. I think the Spartan laser is stupid. I like the railgun. I just wish the railgun's projectile went really fat, like traveled fast through the air, as I imagine a railgun's projectile would. I also wish it did more damage to vehicles and other, uh, like, heavy turrets and stuff like that, and just really just took over the place of the Spartan laser, because I think it's dumb. Now, the Sticky Detonator is another sore point for me because I feel like it replaced the Pro Pipe from Halo Reach, which I felt was a very good weapon and served to fill a niche in between the Spanker and the standard weapons. So it was a light anti-material weapon that you could spawn with and not be overpowered, and I really liked that. I know it had a learning curve, but once you spent the time with it, it was very rewarding. I thought it was cool, and I am sad to see it go. So I don't like that they replaced it with the Sticky Detonator. Uh, I do agree with you there. I think the, uh, the Sticky Detonator is just a really awkward weapon as far as like the weapon set. Just because it's not an anti-vehicle weapon, really. It's much more of an anti-infantry, uh, anti-personnel weapon. Um, and just it, it doesn't really fit because it feels like it's a throwback to, you know, a game, like the remote mines you would see on like Goldeneye on the 64. Yeah, uh, the few times you get this sticky detonator in campaign, it seems like a throwaway gun. Uh, it's fun in multiplayer, but I don't think that adds too much to the UNSC weapon set. Hey, come check out this glitch. <laughs> Did the, the Banshee get parked? Yeah, Banshee's parked. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I mean, you've got the, the Spanker now. Um, uh, you killed it before you got up here. Um, but you got the Spanker it's been in pretty much every Halo game so far. Um, hasn't really changed too much except for the lock-on modes and the flight time. You know, it works great against vehicles, works great against people. Might be a little bit overpowered, <laughs> but it is a rocket launcher, so you can't complain too much. Talking about kind of ubiquitous Halo weapons, you gotta talk about the shotgun. I think that the shotgun is the best kind of measuring stick over the arc of the Halo games. Halo 1, you know, you had more than enough ammo, it killed at long range, all I had to do was like pull the trigger and blam, 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 and nothing could touch you. Uh, in 2, it was like, meh, it was okay. In 3, it was like, meh. In 4, I find it the most balanced of all the other games. Um, and so, I think that that is kind of the pinnacle that, that Halo 4 has reached so far. UNSC Weapons said it's the most balanced when compared to the previous games, and I think that that's a testament to three four threes working with it. All right. I mean, I think that's a good note to end on. And so, what are your favorite uh, weapons in Halo 4 of the UNSC weapon set? Radiant. Uh, I gotta go with the Railgun and the DMR. Those are my two favorites. And no green? As far as, yeah, as far as me, I, uh, I definitely prefer the saw or, you know, if I have a choice, the mounted turret. Uh, my personal favorites are the Magnum and I guess the Sniper Rifle. So that concludes this episode of Debriefing. Uh, make sure to leave your comments below, please subscribe, and make sure to check out our new blog. And we'll see you here again next week.